Hey everybody, welcome back to the carriage play of Suicoden 5. Um, we're listening to some very annoying music. <laughs> hey, go down the stairs and the, the, I think there's some, uh, leads to a garden and some treasure chests. Ooh, spoilers. Uh, we are going though, main mission wise, going to... The Senate building, right? Yeah, I think so. To see potential fiancés to the Princess Lim. The Queen's Knights fought valiantly to protect Felena during the Armé's invasion eight years ago. But they paid a heavy price. Most of them died or were too injured to continue their duties after the war. <laughs> he said duties. Only Sir Galleon, Commander Farid, and Sir Azahak remained. That's why most of the Queen's Knights on active duty these days are so young. Huh, that's a nice little bit of... Uh... Lord building. It's not like just because it's anime boys. It's because yeah, they needed like a new generation. Like I just want chest. Oh yeah. More than a decade ago, the ill, the ill will between the Godwin and the Barrows faction spilled over into bloody conflict. Even the queen and the royal family were dragged into things. There were so many casualties. The fact that they re they they united under the queen's name when armies invaded eight years ago is irony itself. It's uh, interesting that so it's, many of those guys look alike and they just have like the same brown coat. <laughs> There's a really good sale at Macy's. <laughs> His Highness, Her Highness, Lady Silides, why so many of you here at once? Is there some kind of emergency? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> no, we're just being nosy. I feel like that's like too mature for us to say. Like our, the prince isn't really that cool yet. But that's right. Am I Limsia? Limsia? Yeah, I think okay. so. Well, something that I do love is like in Persona, like I think three as well, but like four and five for sure. Uh, like decisions that you don't have like you're just simply not cool enough or whatever stat you need smart enough oh uh, yeah to say send but on a repeat playthrough new game plus you can finally be that cool guy that you wanted to be or whatever yeah the first time yeah I love that oh I, 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 I see I uh, wouldn't wait, call I'm it I'm me a oh, oh that's right I'm yeah I'm uh I want to call it nosy Princess, we're talking about your future husband here. Oh, right. Weird. Engagement, future husband. It all seems like some foreign language to me. Uh, um. Oh, right. Sorry. Well, as you probably overheard, we're on no official business whatsoever. Can we come in? Uh, of course. Please proceed. Joe trying to take Mia keys away from me. Sorry, I got for What's my... next? Are you gonna take Silids? I got Leon and Mia Keys mixed up in my head. Uh Mia Keys uh famous for her um Bugs Bunny sort of quality of, of her voice. <laughs> I remember the first time playing uh this game and for some reason I thought her name was Miakis. <laughs> Miakis. Miakis. Hey, it's me, Miakis. Your Highness, forgive me for being so blunt, but can I ask you a favor? Could you possibly recommend me for a transfer away from guard duty here at the Senate? I just can't stand watching all the Senators at each other's throats all the time. Yap, 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 yap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a terrible world they live in. <laughs> Ooh, cutscene. Oh, if it isn't the princess, a most fortuitous meeting. Yes, yes. <sighs> and her royal highness, Sire Leeds, and his royal Man. highness, the prince. Oh, hey, it's me in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. you <laughs> oh, Dude, if you grow out a goatee like that and it clips so through your shirt, uh, I'm unfollowing you on Instagram. Oh, yes, indeed. I, Solemn Burrows, am a very lucky man today, if I do say so myself. I immediately <laughs> like him. Yes. <laughs> you know, I think they've really sold him <laughs> as like a likable character so far. Oh, yeah. Uh. What? Oh, terribly sorry, sir. Indeed, 
I just got such a twinge of delight from seeing everyone. <laughs> my, my, I do hope you can forgive me. Lord <laughs> 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 Barrows, why have you graced us with your presence today? What business would bring a man of your stature all the way here? The Senate's in recess after all. <laughs> a man of my stature? Oh no, oh my, my, you're far too kind. Indeed, That's a though it's true, very expressive a and a lot of stuff I'm communicated. I'm a glorified facilitator. And now that the Senate is out of session, I have to run about on little errands attending to trivial details. Uh-huh. Come on, Dad, hurry up. Let me say hello to the princess hey, it's you. too. Yeah. Uh, so it's me and you. The makeup carriageway. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. I trust you are all well. I am Urambaro, son of the great Salambaros. Ah, fair princess, do you remember me perchance? Uh, yes. We met a few times at the Sun Palace banquets, I think. Oh, princess, you do remember me. My, my, I am truly the happiest man alive. This is good motion capture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have never once, no, not for one day, no, not even for one moment, forgotten how you looked. And now, with the elegant object of my affection standing before me, oh, my heart is about to flutter away. Oh, princess, you are like a precious gem. It's actually like not terrible like cloth physics for a PS2 game. Yeah, it's if not bad. So lovely hand of yours. I uh, that's more than enough of that. <laughs> Mia Keys, where'd you come Just from? in time. The what do you mean where'd she come from? She's with us. Are his Majesty Farid and his Royal Highness the Prince. If you still insist on doing so, you'd better be prepared for the consequences. Consequences? The waters of Yikes. the river are really cold, you know. He was just about to touch the princess, and she just, like, got in there to pull his hand away. Yeah. Still alarming. That's badass. Mia Keys. Yeah. Badass. Un Mia Keys doesn't get enough respect. I'm so, so, so sorry. Her beauty must have dazzled me so that I lost my wits. Please forgive me. But allow me this, your loveliness. Allow me to predict our future with all those present as our witnesses. You know what's funny? So it's like the people outside, the NPCs that we talked to, were building like the world and talking about this Barrows family mm -hmm. and how the like, and it seemed very like grim. You know, like there's a lot of people died. It sucked. Um, and then it's like to see like just these really annoying, ridiculous people and that control who lives and dies. Yeah. Yeah. I, Urim Barrows, will someday be the third man to touch you. Gross. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> he speaks of the sacred games, princess. He's one of the applicants, you see. I, I see. Fierce competitors will gather from all over the country, free, from beyond its borders, even. Young. <laughs> but I do not fear them. In your name, princess, victory shall be mine. Wow, uh, you uh, must be stronger than you look. Can you really, you know, swing a sword? <laughs> Her highness jests a sword me. I'm no barbarian. We have fought, uh, found a mighty champion. He shall carve my way to your heart. Dude, Game of Thrones stuff. Yeah, I know. My heart's got no place for a wimp like you. Wimp? Your, your, your royal highness. I do like that they introduce is, it's like, typically, it isn't, um... Like like your dad, like it was an actual fighter who fought for himself. Mm -hmm. But typically, it's rich people, and they hire who can ever has the most money to hire the best fighter. Right, gets the to be move up in political power. You know. Yeah. So essentially, whoever has the most money. Yeah, it's not a society based on like ooh the the fittest. How, who's the fittest among us? It's, it's like, who's, who's the, like, grossest, most, like, cutthroat? Yeah. 
You want to be my husband? Why don't you earn the right yourself, like my father did? Hey, Lim, I understand how you feel, but... It's a long-standing tradition that one may have a representative compete in the tournament for him. <laughs> Otherwise, noble Felena's royal family would be filled with barbarians who were all good at only one thing, fighting. Not to call his majesty Farad a barbarian by any means. Please don't misunderstand me. Ah, I mean, that's obviously what he means. <laughs> <laughs> Princess, there's no need for such animosity. When Yerim wins your hand, we'll be the one supporting you, backing you. You and I shall be allies. I'm sure you know of Her Majesty's difficulties with the Godwin faction. I'm a senator too, you know, and let us not mince words. Lord Godwin is a bloodthirsty maniac. He thinks only of wringing more taxes from the people, expanding our armies, suppressing rebellion? And he would subjugate our neighbors with the sun rune itself, use it to rule the world. <laughs> wow. Still talking. Okay. Um, it kind of, like, you almost want to, like, like go the Godwin family, maybe. Because, like, based on, like, your knowledge so far, it's like, well, the barrows suck, and the, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Right. So. Yeah, but we'll see how the Godwins are <laughs> soon. <laughs> If we cannot hold back his lunacy, our enemies will multiply, here and abroad, Felena will fall apart. But together, you and I can stem the tide of his madness. But that's only if Yurim's champion can win the games. We understand each other then. Oh my, I must be getting old, all this rambling. You must all be so weary of me. I should take my leave then. Sir Kyle, young man, we expect great things from you. Yeah, thanks. I think it was uh, those nobles earlier saying that Kyle was a, like a... Or no, it was um, the other uh, Queen's Knight who was calling Kyle a puppet of the... Um, of the Paros family. Oh. And like, Kyle's like, nah. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Princess, we shall meet again, for such is our destiny. See ya. <sighs> I'm so tired all of a sudden. Sir Kyle, young man, what are we, best buds? That old man's too glib for his own good. Carrie, Lim, what do you think? He seemed cool. Uh, I can't quite disagree with him. Uh, <laughs> um, or say the reasonable thing. <laughs> I can't quite trust him. Carrie. Me neither. He's too slick. He must have rehearsed that whole thing. He didn't mean a word of it. I think he meant it. He just wants to use me, that's yeah, all. Yeah, didn't he say that? It can, it can be both. He can mean think, it and want to use you. I think he, that, like, he straight up was like, yeah, we're just gonna, we're doing this so that the Godwins don't get the power. Yeah. Well, if you're that sharp, we shouldn't have to worry about him. Really? But what if that boy fighter wins the competition? Don't jinx it, Miyakis. 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 <laughs> but she's right, isn't she? If Yoram wins, he'll be the next commander of the Queen's Knight after Farad. If that happens, I'm out. No <laughs> way I'm serving under that guy. Let's just hope someone else out there steps up and wins the games. Man, glad that we're back to and the... At any of these point, we can talk to, to Leon. Leon? Leon. Yoram is three or four years older than you, Prince, but you couldn't tell by looking at him. Hmm. So Leon is ageist, we, we found out. Your Highness, what's the state of Lord Lake? Terrible, I suppose. 
What happened was obviously regrettable, but unavoidable in my opinion. After all, Her Majesty gave Lord Rover... Ro Rover? Rovier? Rovier? Ro Rovier. We, I, I thought we learned Latin. Rover. 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 I think Rover. I think it's just Rover. 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 Such, Rover. Rover. such trust, such compassion. To let his betrayal go unpunished would have to would have been to invite disaster upon us all. Sorry. Wow, well, cool story, bro. Thanks <laughs> for telling me. Real really cared about it. Uh yeah. So we're poking around for the um the room that keeps the uh um, the applications for the the uh, people entering the tournament. Oh, so we can look it over. Yeah. Where is that at? If Up I here? remember right, it I think it's on the f it's it's on that oh. top wall, either oh, on the first maybe floor. Maybe this door over here might be. If not, it's probably the same door on the second floor. Okay, nope. it's not here. Okay. So it is on the second floor. My bad. Uh, you guys can't tell, but Jacob has to keep rolling like big, fluffy dice to move. <laughs> what? Oh, like I'm playing D and D or something? No, like Mario Party. Oh, okay. Say, so, as, as said before, this is made by uh, Hudson Soft that made the Mario Party games. Oh my! So many members of the royal family are all together in a place like this. How unusual! Welcome. What's that? The list of applicants for the sacred game. I'm so sorry, Prince. The clerk in charge of the uh, list is in another castle. <laughs> I'll send someone down to bring them back right away. If you could just wait a moment, Your Highness. So we need to see something first? I guess. It's kind of weird to me, like, as like a game direction standpoint. Oh, Prince. Oh, wait, well, uh, Princess? And, and, oh, is this still is it the same one? It's like changed names, but I think maybe. And Lady Silence and His Highness the Prince, too? Oh, there's no need for that, everybody. At ease, relax. Don't mind us. We're just passing through. Please, carry on. Uh, yes, uh, Lady Silence. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna run, run away. away. Running away. Gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah, there aren't many people here today, are there? I hear I heard the Senate is in recess because of the preparation for the sacred games. Guess most of the nobles are out on vacation. That just leaves a couple officials here and there. Well, one of them's gotta have the list. Let's find it and go home. Oh, maybe we have to track them down. Or hey, we could hang around here and gossip all day about who's gonna backstab who. Hmm. Okay, actually, this seems familiar. I wonder if they're outside, just like hanging out in the garden. It'll take a while. Maybe we could use that time to tour the entire Senate Hall. Okay. May I think maybe we're just... The Sacred Games will be held at the arena in Stormfist. So it's been since many, many years ago when Stormfist was the king the Queendom's capital city. Capital. When the capital moved here instead, the Sacred Games were all that stayed behind. These days, Stormfist is Godwin territory. Some worry themselves about that. Still, best not to upset the good Lord Godwin. Mum's the word and all. Is that a saying? Mum's the word? Yeah, it's like, you know, gotta keep it to yourself. Mum's the word. Mumford and Sons? What I was saying, though, before uh, was it's just like an interesting like direction decision to sort of be like, oh, well, actually... You can't just go and do the thing that, like we told you to go do. You have to just go wander around aimlessly for a while. A fisher like me can't be at the beck and call of the nobility. Our duty is to serve the country. Well, ideally, that's how things would work, but we're forced to get our hands dirty if we want to keep our jobs. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Keeping our jobs. It's a good voice for it. Took our jobs. Um, so do you think that guy's back from break? No, I think we need to find him. Uh, if I'm remembering right. I mean, Leon's just like, just toward the Senate Hall. Ooh, a chest. Ooh, and a kitty cat. Break me off a piece of that. Kitty cat bar? 
kitty cat barb. Hey, boys. What, Sir Kyle? Why is everyone here? Have I done something wrong? A guilty conscience. I would never dream of insulting your highness. I, I, I have nothing but respect for you, sir. What is this guy talking about? <laughs> is that the guy that was bad-mouthing us earlier? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Can we go see Jean? Oh, maybe. Uh, yeah, she's in town, right? Okay, keep going this way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, I think that's him. Oh, balls. He's on a lower level. Although you can't oh, tell because the sun <laughs> is going supernova. <laughs> well, that's the sun rune, you know. Oh, are you going for a walk yourself? Are you, your highness? No, no, I'm not loafing on the job. I'm on break, so I decided to go stretch my legs a bit. One, two, one, two. Oh, so that is him, but... Oh, yeah, maybe we do then. need to see something else. Let's go see if we can go into town. Yeah. Or if they'll stop us. No, oh, yeah. Prince, we haven't seen the list of applicants for the Sacred Games yet. Let's go back to the Senate. Okay, Thanks, maybe, Leon. Totally appreciate it. Maybe that's all we needed. I is that love guy, it. Maybe that guy uh, taking a break. Taking a break. One, two, one, two. Hey. Uh, I mean, have we been in every room? I think maybe. Oh, well, then maybe, maybe, baby. I'm thinking, of, you know, this is a PlayStation 2 game, but I still think it looks in some ways better than the original Nier. <laughs> <laughs> and like deadly premonition <laughs> yeah well uh, I don't know <laughs> it's kind of a tough call I it performs better <laughs> yeah uh what's this me again? <laughs> yeah I have wait which what did um, I even do check the tape <laughs> yeah I've sent someone to fetch the clerk in charge of the applicants list Sorry for the inconvenience, but it shouldn't take much longer. It w if you could just wait a moment, Prince. Okay. So, huh. We're clearly missing someone we need to talk to or something. Yeah. Maybe or something. Maybe we need to talk some to somebody in the, the Godwin faction. His Majesty Commander, Commander Ferret is one of the greatest contestants in the history of the Sacred Games. Our stat insisted that he be allowed to enter, even though his background was a complete mystery. And he won purely on his own merits, without a gladiator or anyone else fighting for him. Then, in the army's invasion eight years ago, he led us from the front lines wielding a sword like a common soldier. That sort of gung-ho attitude has made him a hero among the people. People. But some members of the nobility certainly don't look upon him with such favor. Hmm. Uh, so it adds a little bit of mystery to both our dad and our mom. Yeah. Why our mom would allow that and why our dad even wanted to join. Well, it's like the earring and the flavor saver. Mm. It was like a one-two punch of... Of just total hotness. Yeah. Uh, Did we talk to that guy on the left? No. I'm very sorry, Your Highness, but I couldn't possibly show you or the princess inside the Senate. There's no debate any longer, just gangs of faction members trying to outscream one another. Like me the other day, I've got a <laughs> laryngitis. Really blew, really blew out my voice. Lord Rovery. Uh, would be a <laughs> shame. It's, it's, it's like, okay, uh, uh, Lord Rovery always has to tell people how to say it. And he's like, it's like ovary, but <laughs> with an R, Rovery. <laughs> it's like, a, it's, a, it's an ovary for uh, salmon eggs. Rovery. What? <laughs> salmon eggs? Ro? Oh, my God. Your Rovery would be a shame to be counted among us now. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe we just had to hit uh, like a certain number of these dudes before we can. Uh... Yes. yes. Only we could hit the dudes like in. Um... The new army's kingdom is to the east of Falania. Falina. <laughs> <laughs> 
Much of Lord Barrows' territory is in the east of Felina, so they suffered a lot in the invasion eight years ago. The Godwin's land is in the west, so they were relatively unscathed, you see. Now the Barrows faction is trying to improve relation with armies while the Godwins are getting them riled up. Hmm. See, I, yeah, this is all informative, but whoa. not especially engaging gameplay. Yeah, I mean, that's like the first 10 hours. <laughs> yeah, 10 hours of this game is... Should I check again? Yeah, like... Oh! No. Ah. Maybe now we go... And find that dude. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I guess this is just sort of encouraging you to talk to everybody to get the the, the appropriate context for everything that comes up. Because all of this, it, this isn't just useless dialogue. No. This isn't filler at all. All of this stuff becomes important at one point or another. I mean, I really liked... Uh, when I replayed this game the last time, and I know I did mention it. Uh, okay, this is just the same. Uh, is is just this whole intro section, and after this, getting to go kind of tour like the world and like see a lot of the players are gonna that are going to be important later. Right. Like when you are building your own uh, army. Yeah, and. Um yeah, and it doesn't feel... I remember even the first time it didn't feel like it at the time. Uh, okay. Armis has sent his minions to apply for the Sacred Games, so they plan to usurp our nation from the inside today by seizing the princess's hand in marriage. Such audacity, even for them. Okay. Kay. Took our jabs. Uh, <laughs> we might need to look online. Oh, And yeah. I mean, we can do that in between episodes. So we hope to see you next time, everybody. Yeah. Uh, the Sager games are crucial in deciding Her Highness's future husband. It's always been a tough competition, and it's open to any man in the world. Technically, anyone can win, but the nobles can always afford the very best gladiators, and anyone who can't is all but doomed. Aside from your father, Highness, the winner has almost always been either a Godwin or a Barrows. Uh, so, we're looking it up, and we will see you next time. Thank okay. you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more Let's Play action. See you then. Bye, everybody.